Okay, this is a story about the heading and the GPS and the corrected and using an IMU on Ag Open GPS. So here's the explanation. Um, I have the IMU connected, and of course that's this number here. It's just sitting on the table right now. If I twist it, you see, now it's a different angle, of course. But you see what the corrected does? It drifts back to the GPS. I twist it back the other way, twist it back. If you move that around, you can see the corrected bounces back and forth in time with the yaw, or the, the gyro. But it keeps on averaging back to what the GPS is. So if we move the GPS now and see what the IMU isn't turning. Normally, of course, the GPS and the IMU would be on the same vehicle and they stay pretty close together. So what this averaging does, here, let's just slow that down. What the averaging does is it brings the corrected eventually to what the GPS is. So the GPS is like this long term uh, heading and the IMU, of course, it has drift, but that drift is taken care of by this averaging. Like we just wiggle it a little bit there, like half a degree. See, now it's right back at the GPS again. So in the code, uh, we just figure out, of course, which source of, uh, of IMU we're getting it from, whether from the antenna or from the BNO and the Arduino or from the brick. And then we save uh, that degrees into a raw, um, what's the word? Radians, vapors, a radian setting. So now we take the difference between the IMU heading and the GPS heading. If the IMU was, of course, three degrees and the GPS was um, one degree, well, that would be two degrees of difference. So that's the delta between the GPS and the gyro. Now, the fun part begins, what's the difference between 6.27 and 0.1. Well, it's not 6.26. It's it loops over zero. So all, most of this stuff is all just correcting for that circular error issue where you go from 6.28, which is two pi, back to zero. So that takes care of all that. And then now if the gyro in the last corrected fix is greater than 10 degrees, meaning that either we're just starting out, um, or sorry, less than 10 degrees, then we want this filter to react quite slowly. So what we do is we take a chunk of the gyro and then add it to our correction so that the correction slowly becomes what the heading is from the GPS. And of course, the smaller the delta is, the slower that filter accumulates. So it just like it's 10 degrees and then it's five degrees and then it's two and a half degrees and then one and a quarter degree and you know 0 0.75, 0 0.375. It just it gets closer and closer to the correction, but it gets there slower as the two are closer together. And what that allows then is that even though the even though the GPS can be wiggling back and forth, it's one or two degrees, and the IMU is quite stable because the tractor isn't doing that. It's the fixes moving as the tractor wiggles back and forth, of course, the fixes and the heading it sees are kind of a zigzag motion. So you get the heading one way, heading the other way, heading the other way. And so all the, the, by taking a chunk of that gyro delta and then keep taking a piece of it, adding it to the correction, of course then you fix the correction, make sure it's between um, negative, well, I guess zero and two pi, or negative pi and positive pi, then you're corrected. Now it just becomes the correction plus the raw which gives you your corrected heading. So to look back at it again, so now you can see the GPS and the corrected are pretty much the same, I just wiggled it. But if we move the IMU, there you see it just keeps taking a chunk of that correction and it brings them back in line. So the IMU very quickly, here I'm wiggling it, very quickly the corrected follows the wiggle of the IMU but over time, it averages and then becomes the value of the long-term GPS reading, which we know is correct. This guy, we never know where it's way it's pointing. You can have magnetic effects, that sort of thing. But it gets averaged out and eventually becomes the same as the GPS heading. I hope that makes sense. Okay, thanks.